So next up is previewing our app. Uh, in this video, we're going to cover how to make the most out of the preview feature, device support, and Fliplet Viewer. Now that we know how to build an app, we have explored the different editing options. The time has come to preview our app, so I recommend doing this each time you build a new feature uh, to ensure that it works correctly. It's really easy to toggle back and forth. Um, you can also change the device view uh, basically on the screen while you're editing. So you can switch from different devices. You can see the device in the background changing. And we now have larger, medium, and small browser views. So you can check that your photos scale right across and that everything is responsive. Uh, so let's switch back to iPhone and then move into preview mode right here. So you can see that preview mode is a bit darker than the other screen. Um, this is because we want you focusing on the content that's actually on your screen right here. So you're going to want to just click around uh, all the different options and make sure that they work the way that you want them to. And it's good to have a separate document open or a good old pen and paper just to take some notes on errors uh, or anything that you notice that maybe doesn't flow quite the way that you want it to um, or any improvements that you might be wondering about. We can always help you out with that or you can check with somebody else on your team. Uh, so when you're testing your app, you want to make sure that you click on every single button that's available, um, every single link, every single image inside the previewer to ensure that the end user won't run into any errors. You can also see when each screen was last edited down here so that uh, if you haven't made any changes to the screen recently, chances are that nothing's changed. It's a good idea to pop it open and check just in case though. Um, so we will cover device support now. Um, you should always preview each section of the app um, using whatever device that it's meant to be used on in the end. So if you're creating an app for mobile only, you probably just want to swap between the different mobile phone views up here. Um, if the app is also going to be available on iPad or Android tablets, it's worth your, worth your time to take a look at that option there. Um, so, you know, if it's not going to be used on a browser, maybe don't preview it in that device. Um, all Fliplet apps are responsive in that they adapt to the size of the screen that they're being viewed on. Uh, there's definitely still a chance that something might look off just because uh, photo resolutions do vary. So if you don't know what you're working with, um, then it might look pretty pixelated on the web. So it's always good to check these things out. And it's fairly easy to narrow down which devices to preview on as we have a handy list right up here at the top. Um, so for example, if your company only uses iOS devices, it might be good to just preview on iOS and save yourself some time. Uh, so you can always view our documentation on supported devices uh, by selecting the link at the bottom of the device pre previewer window to learn more. Um, and we always recommend using the preview function on your browser with the most up-to-date version of Google Chrome. Uh, so next up is Fliplet Viewer. As you can see on the right-hand side over here, uh, there's a reminder to download and test in Fliplet Viewer. So if you open that up, you get step-by-step -step instructions on how to get Fliplet Viewer on your device. Um, as long as the most up-to-date version of your app is saved in Fliplet, you'll be able to log in with your Fliplet credentials and view and interact with any updates in real time on your mobile device, which is pretty cool. So you don't always have to push updates to the app or launch the app to view it on your mobile device. So one major benefit to viewing the app through Philippit Viewer is you'll be able to see the transition animations, the way they were designed to be viewed on your mobile device. Um, inherently, they just look a bit better than on the computer. Additionally, if your app's already live and launched in public app stores, uh, this is always a good way to preview the updates before sending them live to your users. Uh, most app users are pretty keen to let you know if there's a bug in your update, but to keep everyone happy, you should test the updates first before sending them out. Uh, additionally, you can invite your colleagues using this handy button right here. So if you want to send it to, uh, to your teammates before sending it out to the app stores or Google Play stores, uh, then that's a good idea here. You can also control uh, what type of access they get, but we'll go over that in a different video. Um, you'll see this video covers mostly the first stages of testing since we're only using Fliplet Viewer and we haven't launched the app to anyone, uh, let alone any users. Uh, that's okay. Continue to test away and let us know how it goes. And then the next step we will cover will be publishing. 
if you test anything and you want to edit it right away, I would just swap back to edit. You'll go back to the page that you were viewing and you can change whatever you need to right there. So stay tuned for the next video.